America's Mercury Atlas program for manned orbital flight is tested with a dummy astronaut. The one-ton Mercury capsule is attached atop the Atlas by bolts lined with explosives, so it can be blasted free in case of malfunction of the rocket. Atop the capsule itself is the tower containing rockets, which would automatically ignite to pull the capsule safely away from the ailing booster. And now, with cameras and observers focused on the drama unfolding at Cape Canaveral, the always awesome moment of release of the Atlas. Nearly 30 seconds after launching, it's evident the missile is not following its flight path. Failure in the preset instrument translating commands to the steering mechanism. At 16,000 feet, the Atlas will be destroyed. But first, the capsule is blown loose. While the stunning impact is felt by some below, Calmer eyes will watch for the recovery of the spacecraft in which an astronaut might have been riding. And here it is, the nine-foot-tall capsule dangling from its self-contained 63-foot parachute, which will bring it gently to rest upon the surface of the Atlantic. Experts are confident a man in the capsule could have survived. A helicopter brings the undamaged capsule the rest of the way from 350 yards offshore. From space officials comes the assurance that the blow-up will in no way change the plan to stay with the Atlas as a booster for manned orbit launching. 